Hi everyone, this is the 45th video of the ACT math practice problem series and here we have an interesting problem from the concept of geometric sequence. As I always recommend before seeing the solution, you can pause the video and give it a try yourself and after that of course you want to match with my solution. So let's get started. The question here says which of the following statements is not true meaning which of the following statements is false. So we have to find out the false statements right. So there will be exactly one false statement in the answer options. So which of the following statements is not true about the geometric sequence 16, 8, 4. So you see that this is a geometric sequence which is kind of reducing gradually right. So what would be the common ratio of this geometric sequence? Well the common ratio would be something like this. If we say the common ratio is r, I am using lowercase r, that would be equal to 8 over 16. If we divide the second term by the first term, we get the common ratio and in this case this is actually one half. So for this geometric sequence the common ratio is one half. Now let's look at the answer options and see which ones are true and which one is false. So first let's evaluate the first option. The fifth term is one. Well in this case what would be the fifth term? The fifth term would be if I write it right here. So a sub 5 that would be the first term which is 16 times the common ratio whole to the power 5 minus minus 1 that is 4. So that would be 16 times 1 over 16 and that is equal to 1. So actually the fifth term of this geometric sequence is 1. So the first statement is actually correct. It is not false. It is true. So this is not the correct option. So let's not be confused right. We have to find out which statement is not true. But here we see that this is a true statement for this particular geometric sequence. The fifth term is one that is a true statement. So we really cannot mark that as the correct answer option here. So let me erase this. So A is not the correct answer. And if you look at the second option, it says the sum of the first four terms is 30. Well in this case, what is the fourth term? I mean we can find out the sum using the formula of sum or we can quickly find the fourth term here. The fourth term would be 2 because it would be one half of 4 that would be 2. So the sum would be 16 plus 8 that is 24 plus 4 that is 28 plus 2 that is 30. So again the second statement is also true. So that is not the correct answer for us. Now let's look at the third statement here. Each consecutive term is one half of the previous term and that is again true because the common ratio is one half. So each consecutive term is one half times of the previous terms. So option C is a true statement. So that is not the correct answer here. Now let's look at the fourth statement. It says that the sum of the first six terms is 32. Well let's take a quick look. We have 16 as the first term, then 8 as the second term, then 4 as the third term, then would be 2, then would be 1 and then would be 1 half. So if we add up the six terms here, what do we get? Well, we get 31 plus half. So that is 31 and half. That's not 32. So this is the statement which is not accurate or which is not true for this particular geometric sequence. So option D is the correct option. You can also check the fifth one. You really don't have to check as soon as you find the correct answer. Then you can simply select that and be done with this question. Right? You can move on to the next question in your real exam. So here because we have found the actual false statement about this geometric sequence, we are pretty much done with this question. So our correct answer here is option D. This kind of questions are a bit tricky question. You have to be very careful about what you have been asked to find out. In this case we have been asked to find out which of the statements was not true. So you have to discard all the true statements. You have to ultimately look for a false statement which is you know false about this particular geometric sequence. Sometimes you may get lucky you know you could get the correct answer just by checking the first statement. Sometimes it may be the second one. Sometimes it could be the third one. In this particular example it was the fourth one and sometimes it could be the fifth one also. So you pretty much have to kind of look through each one of them and discard the true ones and find the actual statement which is false which does not apply to this particular geometric sequence. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.